Hi everybody, so I'm here with my friend Sarah today. We're gonna do a lash tutorial. Uh, you probably recognize Sarah because she's done a tutorial with me before. I did her makeup for a Kim Kardashian look. Now Sarah is an amazing makeup artist, but she also does lash extensions. So I thought she's the perfect person to invite to show us how to apply individual lashes. We'll show you how to do strip lashes, what tools to use, and I think we can just go right into... Um, Thanks for having me back. Of course. Okay, so what I like to do when I'm doing lashes is I actually like to put the glue on the back of my hand, mm -hmm. just a small dollop. I think it kind of warms the glue up and gets it ready. You can also put it on a palette or some of the lashes yeah. come with the little the pocket. pocket. Mm -hmm. I like it on the back of my hand. I think it's easier to work with as well. And you were actually the one who turned me on to these Kiss Lashes and you've seen me use them on some of my tutorials. And I like them because they're three on one strip. So if you're in a rush, sometimes I don't have a lot of time. And it's a great way of kind of faking it and doing it in a, in a, in a faster, faster way. way. So as you can see, I just pull it off downwards with my tweezer. Sometimes I find that there's a little bit of extra on here, like a glue, so I just pull it off because you're gonna get bumps otherwise in the lash line, okay? So basically I'm just dipping it in and you don't need a lot of glue. And I like to give it a little quick fan. Mm -hmm. And I actually just like the client to look down mm -hmm. or the model. Um, that way you're never worried about gluing the eye shut. I'm really into symmetry and, and keeping it even, and I like to normally work back and forth, mm -hmm. which I'm not obviously going to do today because we're mm -hmm. gonna do two different, um, show you two different ways. So just so that way I can keep everything in unison, and if I get distracted or something, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I'm not like, oh, what happened to her lashes? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So again, I'm just dipping, and then placing. I actually, there's a tiny groove if you get really close to um, a lash line, and I place it like in the groove almost, if not a little bit lower onto the actual lash so it's resting on the lash, and that way you have more options. You don't have to put a liner if you don't want to, mm -hmm. and you can keep things more natural. Where If you're putting it a little bit higher onto the skin, I find that you, you're going to have to line it. That's such a good tip. I love that. So I'm going to go across with the Kiss ones for a little bit. I did three so far. Just like me, Monica. And I think what I'll do with the longer medium ones is kind of give her a little flare so it looks more like a natural mm -hmm. lash line. I mean, it's going to be dramatic for our purposes. I do the same thing with the Kiss lashes. I like to go in afterwards with some individuals. It yeah. makes it look more natural. So if you have one that's like popping up a little bit because maybe I didn't get enough glue on it, I can just push it in lightly. And yeah, if you're feeling a little agitated, it's always okay to close. And that way you can kind of just push them in. Mm -hmm. And then just placing them in again. So I would let that dry for a second and then I would probably go in with the Japanesque and I just like to marry them. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can get really close to the lash line and just squeeze so you're getting, you're marrying them in. Mm -hmm. I also like to do another way just to give a little bit more of an up, I actually kind of bend the lash halfway in the middle of the lash and give it a little bend there. And it's gonna give, if you look in the camera, it gives it more of like an up flared look. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just, I'm not right close to the um, where the lash meets the lid. I'm actually in the middle of the extension or the cluster and I'm squeezing together to give like an up. Mm -hmm. I look. love that, that's a, such a great tip. Okay, mm -hmm. so then what I would probably do, because it's nice to customize the lash, mm -hmm. is to go in with some of the longer flares and put them in a good place for you to have your longest length is at the arch of the brow. That's gonna give the most height to an eye. Mm -hmm. If you're putting too much length out here, you're gonna get a droop. Mm -hmm. So as much as we all like a cat eye, you should probably start with a few shorter ones and then go into your cat eye, somewhere around here with most of your length at the arch. Mm. Because otherwise it's, you're gonna have some sad 
Mm -hmm. Ashes. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that a lot of people do put way too much on the outer corner, mm -hmm. and I love. I actually love that technique much more. More focusing in the in the middle of the eye. It opens them more. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I'm, st I would, I guess, if I were to give this a term, I would call it stacking lashes. Mm -hmm. um, I place them again, kind of further down into the lashes, mm -hmm. and you can just get a really cool custom effect um, of the lash line. Mm -hmm. So we'll just put two in, close again. And because I'm using such minimal glue, and I'm not really doing like a band, it's okay for your model to close their eyes mm -hmm. that way you can have a little bit more um, sturdiness. So that's just giving a little mm -hmm. little flare. And then I um, another question I have, or what I do with individual lashes is I put the glue on and I go right into the eye. So mm -hmm. you know how sometimes they say the glue has to get tacky, mm -hmm. but I feel like with individuals, it's better to go Not right so in tacky, because then you can still move the lashes around. If you need to. And for the strips, I like the, the, the glue to, to get tacky and I wait for like okay. 20 minutes mm -hmm. or 20 seconds, 20 sorry. Seconds. So I'm gonna take some of the um, ones that Monica mentioned are her favorites, the short blacks in the singles. I'm just gonna put a few in the inner corner. So just close for me, Monica just so that we're like finishing off the look. I'm actually kind of leaving um, her natural lashes a little bit more so in the inner corner and it gives more of a pop to the eye in that arch mm -hmm. that we were discussing earlier. So again, we can um, go back through and do, I'll use this little one instead this time just mm -hmm. to show different clothes again and I can push everything in and the lightest touch is really going to move it. You have to remember it's just like a little feather, mm -hmm. basically. And I'm just pushing it all in to the lash line. I love that tip. I have to get one of those. It's great. And then again, we can just, where I just finished, since we put a few more on, can just lightly marry everything together. And then do you recommend putting mascara over yeah, it again? Yeah, definitely. I think it's really nice. It doesn't have to be like a thick, thick coat. Mm -hmm. At this point, I would probably use the spoolie rather than out of right out of the mm -hmm. um, tube. tube, thank you, mm -hmm. because I don't want it to be so heavy. Mm -hmm. Or um, a lot Very of people brush. like the fan. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to lightly coat it. I actually, instead of going in, prefer mm -hmm. to rub here, and you have a little bit more control of how much mascara you're actually getting and you're kind of squishing it in um, and you don't have to kind of worry about getting too much product on. If you don't have enough, you just go back in and do another coat. And I actually like to start on the top and I hope we're close enough to see, but I actually roll the mascara wand mm -hmm. while I'm applying it. So it's like a rolling effect. And then I'm gonna go under and do the same and I'm getting fairly close and blinking's okay. I think blinking actually helps. So if the person that you're doing is blinking and they're kind of getting nervous about the fact that they're blinking, tell them just to relax because it doesn't really affect it. And you can go in with something um, like this Smashbox has some great colors. Just I'm just going to use the black. And I'm actually just going to take it um, and lightly press it in to the lash line. Mm -hmm. Close. I'm not winging it. I'm not anything, but if there's mm -hmm. any glue or like light reflection or anything like that um, from the glue, even though it is dark, I'm kind of just diminishing that. <clears throat> Monica and I chose these ones um, for her. We thought it would suit her eye shape um, and then it's not, the length is not too long um, for a more natural look. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to have to do is we're definitely going to have to cut a little bit of length mm -hmm. off the uh, outer corner. And we always say it's important to cut off the outer corner versus the inner mm -hmm. because otherwise you're going to have really long lashes on the inner corner and it's not going to look right. Mm -hmm. I actually just use my thumb. People yeah. use a lot of different techniques and I'm just lightly tugging it rather than ripping it like this. I'm just going to take our scissors and probably cut like one or two um, of the end clusters off and then just bear in mind how many you cut for your for other, the other side, so you don't forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of go into the center first. Place them. Place them, and then squeeze them in. And if your band goes a little bit high like mine did, 
That's mm -hmm. why we have the little tools like this. And close, Monica, I can just push it back in mm -hmm. to where I need it to be. And then with this one, I still like to go in with the Japanese mm -hmm. um, individual mm -hmm. just to get the band where I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can go all the way across. Mm -hmm. And do you put mascara on top of yes, it? Yes, definitely I'm going to put mascara, especially because when you are doing a strip, mm -hmm. the assumption is that you probably are doing something a little bit more dramatic, right? Mm -hmm. The mascara also helps to bury everything together. Yeah. And again, I'm rolling and lifting, just getting it all in there. And then again, we can go in and use the black eyeshadow that we used earlier to kind of hide the band. All right, guys, so I know that it's not easy to do your own lashes, and it's something I had to practice on my own for quite some time, but I hope that Sarah just explained it so amazing to us, and I hope that this video is helpful to you. And uh, follow Sarah on Instagram, give us some likes to this video, and we we'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.